like it. Are you ready? Okay, if you want to start off, just tell me your name, please. Oh, I'm Kenneth Blair. And you said you live on the Kentucky River, but you're a regular at the boating scene, right? Oh, yes, correct. Hey, I came here back with my grandkids. I, to keep him cool, I put him in a five-gallon bucket of water. While me and we were fishing out here on the pontoon boat. I used to land my seaplane here. Uh, but living on the Kentucky River for the past 20 some years, uh, that is the nastiest body of water in the country. And to say that this lake is, would have to be closed because of sewage, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is one of the cleanest little lakes you'll find. And uh, I just hate to see that uh, the county would even consider closing such a nice little uh, re recreation spot, you know? Well, I don't think they're trying to close the lake. I think they're trying to give, <clears throat> they're not allowing anybody on the docks. So do you use the docks regularly? Uh, no, when I landed my plane, I asked them how much does it cost me to land my plane. They said, well, as long as you don't use a ramp, it won't cost you anything. But I, uh, I've been on the dock years ago and stuff, and, and I can't really say whether the dock is, you know, uh, safe or not, but uh, it was my understanding it was the sewage that was getting pumped in here. But uh, that not being the case, well, then I really don't know about the dog, but that dog looks as safe as I see. <laughs> and you guys are all out here enjoying your Sunday? Oh yeah, these guys are catching these bass and having a ball and uh, got a kayaker. Uh, some kayakers have met and they're going to uh, I don't, obviously I don't fly anymore, so I won't be landing my plane here, but I will be taking the pontoon boot out with the grandkids. Awesome. That was easy, right? That's easy, yeah. What'd you say your name was, sir? Uh, Kenneth Blair. Nice to meet you, Kenneth. I'm Give Marissa. Me your carbs. 